tonight on The Prophet. Greenville, South Carolina is home to West End Coffee, a regional roaster with great product. That's pretty awesome. But even better margins. We sell it for how much? 48. That margin's killer. The co-owners are living proof that you should never mix business with pleasure. Bull you're horrible at doing the right things until you're forced to do it. I not only have to put the right process in place. You made a huge inventory mistake. I have to figure out a way for the owners to coexist. You're so busy fighting that you're not busy selling. If not, West End Coffee will grind to a halt. All right, rookie mistake. Hello. I'm Marcus. I'm Becky. Becky, nice to meet you. Very nice meeting you. Marcus, privilege, John Brown. John, nice to meet nice you. Nice to meet you, sir. Thank you for coming. The smell when you walk in here is awesome. It is. That's what everybody says. And so is this whole warehouse is is all the manufacturing? It is. Everything is in, is in this 3,500 square feet. It might be a little bit strong for you. It might be a little bit strong for you. And we make it pretty strong. Oh, it's good. But it's good. Yeah, but it's really good. And it's fresh. It's obvious that they have a good product. And Becky's son, Brian, shows me that the employees are motivated and they enjoy their work. The tension between John and Becky could be the reason this business is really struggling. Tell me the story of how you met. She became friends with my wife. We would hang out together. My wife and I, my ex-wife and I had problems. I went to my wife and I said, if you want to try to work this out, you need to get rid of Becky. There was like a triangle thing going on? Sort of, yes. Sort of, OK. Yes. Okay. Cohorts in <laughs> crime, maybe, I don't know. <laughs> so Let me check out these rest. <laughs> This is a classic case of TMI. I don't know what sort of graph or chart we could put up for this one. And when you guys were together in a relationship, was it normal? Not since we got here, this kind of really was the downfall. Can the relationship be repaired if you're not working together? I no longer want to be with her. I'm looking for a wife eventually. Well, there's news, because he told me he was never getting married again. Well, I told you I was never going to marry you. How's the equity allocated between 50-50? I'm 82, and she's 18. How much money did you actually give to the seller? Cash out of my pocket was twelve five. Right. Becky's was seventy seven thousand cash. Hundred from the bank. Shh. A hundred. Hundred thousand from the bank. And where did the other three hundred come from? His four hundred one that got rolled over into the retirement pension plan, which then is a stockholder shareholder slash lender. Do you want to sell it? I really don't, but I cannot continue for her to control my money. How, how does she control your money? She has the ultimate shareholder voting majority. How does that work? Because she's a director on that qualified pension plan. My All mistake. I did was sign. She could fire me as CEO and president if she if there was a shareholders meeting. You guys made this investment together. You're either gonna go forward together or you're gonna burn together. I need you to explain to me again why it is that you think it's OK that accidentally you secured a right to fire him from this business when you only put in 20% of all the money. To me, that's the only thing that I have to hang on to. I absolutely will give her that right for us to work together and build this as it originally was envisioned. Are you willing to say to him, I'm willing to take the chance, John, to fix this issue. I am. Right now? Sure. That would go a really long ways. Exactly. So here's my offer. OK. I'm willing to put up $200,000 for 51% of the business. I'm just not sure the 200 is enough. I mean, that's valuing our business at less than $400,000. I put the wild card discount. So that's the discount price. But I have to discount it because I have to mitigate my risk. And so the wild card in this situation is you guys. We're both willing to put all that energy, all that effort, all that passion, all that emotion, and we'll put it into fighting for our business and building our business with you. OK. Yes, sir. Do we have a deal? We have a deal. This is an important meeting for John and Becky. I want them to prove to me that they can work together, and I want to see how they act around potential customers. We appreciate the time that you guys have given us today. That's, I realize how valuable that is, and we're here just to tell you about West End Coffee. We are a full-service coffee roasting facility. And if I place the order today, when is going to be ready? Like if, if it was a custom blend? Um, I don't know if we're going to offer a private recipe for Larkins. Um, if that's the case, we wouldn't have that on the shelf. 
to answer your question, Chef, if you order that on Monday, you'll have it in your kitchen on Friday. So it may not necessarily be true that we would not have your coffee on the shelf. In fact, it's very likely that we would have your coffee on the we'll shelf. We'll carry a safety stock. Yes. If there's uh, any equipment issues, anything like that, we're here for you. So you provide uh, equipment and, we do. and repairs. And we'll probably make some frequent visits, stop by, check on the machines, make sure they're right. I can pledge to you that we will do everything possible to make sure that we earn your business every day, every order. We would okay. love to have you guys. Sure. Yeah. Definitely. Mm -hmm. We're glad that you're going to give us an opportunity for your business. Thank you, Thank you, nice you so much. Thank you. So what's the good word? Ask her, has she done anything you I, asked I, her to do you that she shook your hand off? I so contacted okay. my attorney, asked him for that resignation for the d director as well as the trustee. But why isn't the paperwork signed? Right. Becky? I don't have the form, but I will get the it's form. It's a piece of paper, Becky. Uh, all I can say is you should probably be happy that I didn't sign it, because he's contacted business brokers to try and sell it. When I'm thinking we've got a deal, I and now he's was, out I shopping didn't say around. I was trying to sell it. John, you did. You talked with the guy on the phone. Yes. Okay, so I'm gathering information. To find out if the price you got was right? To find out if the price we got Too was right. Too bad. You made a deal. Okay. And so I don't think I gave you a bad deal. Do we want to read text? I'm more than done. You have no savior. We will sell this for our original investment and start over without each other. Marcus is irrelevant at this time. The business will be listed for sale tomorrow, Miss 18% owner. You will be lucky to get your initial investment back, and after that, good luck. I got news for you. OK. Um, I am relevant. I made a deal, and I bought 51% of this business. Okay. And I can throw you out. I understand that. Print that up. Hereby tendering my resignation as trustee of Specialty Coffee Roasters, Inc. Retirement Plan. It's what you've been asking for. Yes. Right? Yes, sir. I am tendering my resignation in order to better facilitate the sale of the stock to Marcus Limonis, LLC. So let me tell you how relevant I am. Okay. I now control you. You don't, she doesn't control you. And so if you ever go around my back again and I find out that you're meeting with brokers, I will not only not do the deal, but I won't give you this paper. And I'm gonna leave you to the wolves. Okay. Don't ever with me. Are we clear? We're clear. Okay. You are the inventory manager. You are responsible for everything back here. Okay. And you better know every cost on every product. You are now responsible for sales. Okay. 100%. Okay. So no sales calls will come to anybody but you. Okay. Let's get to work. I've been doing everything. And if you tell me that's not true. You've been doing everything because Marcus asked you to do everything. That's why. You think you own this place and you think you run it. I'm back at West End Coffee. And again, I'm struck by two things. The smell of great coffee and John and Becky fighting again. As I look around this warehouse, I notice that they haven't done one single thing that I gave them to do. The warehouse is still full of expired products and items that don't sell. And the worst part is they don't have one single stock of backstock coffee. It's as if I wasn't even here. So all the changes that we made back there, they're all different again now? That, you need to talk to Miss Rebecca on that. They were supposed to be bags, and they were supposed to be five pound bags. Why aren't they made? The reason that we decided. Who told you guys that you could decide that? It's her. You were in charge of sales. Yes, sir. Any new accounts? Two follow-up meetings with Larkins. Interesting. I have pages for my Twitter account. I guess West End Coffee is too busy to quote us. What? I mean, I'm not calling him out. I'm just saying I understand. he called me out. And I look like I don't have my together. And then I talked to him. And he said to me, follow-up's been terrible. We can't follow up with the local restaurant. And if you guys are now not talking again, how, how do we deal with that? I've been gone two weeks. He's pissed off because you took a lot of what he was doing before. Ordering I'm not the beans. Off. That's you, not true, John. He gave it to you, and I said, here he you go. He throws I everything on my records, desk and says, showed you how to do Marcus it. Marcus wants you to do it all. So I've been doing it all. I work I'm every day over the three day weekend. Leader. Everybody else had three I days. I can't even follow up on a sales call. Well, that's a whole different story. Oh, I don't yeah, know. Yeah, it's different when it comes to him. He gave you one thing that's... to do make sales calls. I mean, come on. I've been doing this everything else. I'm giving you enough rope to hang yourself. This isn't working for me. I'm not gonna do this, play these games. I know relationships go bad, but when it comes to this place, you have a responsibility to make sure he gets paid, he gets paid, he gets paid, and you make money. And right now, this is a cluster <laughs> And what I don't like, John, is I don't like how you talk to her, even if she's wrong. I'm surprised her son hasn't just beat the out of you. I don't know why he tolerates it. You know what? You guys cannot work together. I believe in people, process, and product. I can improve the product. We can work on the process, but sometimes you just can't change the people. This is your resignation. Oh. 
I wish you luck. I appreciate that. Thank I you. wish you luck. Thank you, Marcus, I for wish everything. You luck. Thank you. Thanks. There's a million dollars just walked out the door. West End Coffee could have been a great business, but I don't get in business to be a mediator. I get in business to make money. And while I understand that sometimes people can't work together, in this case, there's no way that we could turn this business around with the two of them. <laughs>